Hello and welcome to the Procrastinaria. My name is Jan and today we are playing EU4 as Pomerania as we tend to do. Before we actually unpause, there was a hotfix 1.3.2, the checksum was D2AO. There wasn't a lot of changes. Basically what was changed is that the, um, it's all about luck achievement. Is You can now actually achieve that achievement. They fixed a bug that was causing cores to instantly disappear when a country was annexed in the late game. There was also a fix in the American Dream DLC, where the rifles no longer explode, explode in OpenGL. Now, as of filming this video, and actually when this video comes up tomorrow, EU4 and all the DLCs expect, except for American Dream are on sale, they're 50% off. If you don't have any of the DLCs, I suggest getting them now. I picked up National Monuments 2 yesterday because it was a euro. I didn't pick up American Dream just yet because it's still 5 euros and it's as for the expansion pack Conquest of Paradise that has been delayed till January. So we'll just have to wait. It looks incredibly awesome though. I've, there was a live stream which you can rewatch if you go to twitch.com slash paradox plaza, paradox interactive. I think if you search for Paradox Interactive Twitch on Google, you'll be able to get to their page. Or I'll put a link to the VOD in the description below so you can watch it. Um, but it was—it looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy about that. A lot of the features will be in the 1.4 patch as well. So those of you that can't afford it, as is normal with Paradox, won't miss out too much. You'll still There's still a few things that won't be in the patch, but... Other than that, quite a few will be, so it looks really, really good. I'll put it, everything in the description below. Right, let's unpause. What were we doing? Oh, right, nothing. <laughs> we weren't quite sure what we were doing. That was the thing, wasn't it? Did we have much aggressive expansion after that last war? Well, we had a little bit. Doesn't seem too bad. Were they willing to offer? Yeah, but we hate them. That's the problem, right. They consider us a rival. They actually like us now. We're improving relations all around. We were rebuilding our army size. That's what we were doing. We can have 10 more. Uh, but we don't have the manpower just now. There are a few disputed secessions. In the meantime, in between recording episodes, I started a single player game. Another one is Austria. And another one is Orissa, which is in India, which I found rather fun. Uh, I play all three of them consecutively, so I play the Aragon, Austria, and Orissa one. Depends on which one I kind of want to play. Uh, I have this weird gameplay style where sometimes I really like playing one country, and then sometimes I really like playing another country. So... My, my playing style interchanges a lot, and so I have multiple anime games going. Uh, with Aragon, I'm slightly more colonial, with Durisa, I'm slightly more aggressive, and with Austria, I'm incredibly diplomatic. Still remaining as emperor, but being diplomatic and having a PU with Hungary, which tends to happen quite a lot, I've noticed. Another one with uh, Spain, and another one with Bohemia, so a really, really strong diplomatic ties are being built. Uh, we should probably improve our relations with the rest of our allies. Sweden, Lithuania, Brandenburg, Austria, and Hess. Hess loves us. Austria loves us. Everyone loves us. Then we'll fabricate some more claims on... Uh, someone. Who? Who do we go to war with? Denmark? Who is Denmark allied with? Muscovy and Norway. Not a chance. Muscovy, actually... Yeah. Poland, though. Poland is still our rival, isn't it? Why is Thrungi our, our, our rival? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And the Hansa. I could actually go after the Hansa. I mean... Who are their allies? England and Utrecht? We couldn't go after them. England and Utrecht. They have civil disorder. We are going to fabricate a claim on... What? What are we going to fabricate a claim on? On Warsaw. And... 
We have an air. He's a 3-4-3. Actually, a decent air. Not too bad. We are quickly going to build another armory in Kalis. How much are we making? 6.37. Oh, we're doing okay. Then we'll build another one in Fort Pomeran. There we go. I think we need to 74, 10 cannons. We could actually build another one. And they do help us all in all, so. Build another one in Varmia. Poland has a. Wittelsbach as a king. They do still hate us. Don't consider us a rival, but do hate us. They consider the Devonian Order a rival, which is <laughs> interesting. They can't get to them. They're having a lot of issues. Do we still have a truce with them? I don't think we do. No, we don't. They are allied with Sweden, though. I know I know our manpower is going to be basically zero after I um, finish rebuilding an army. But I do quite like the idea of going to war with Poland again. I mean, they're the ones we can pound on. There is no one else we can currently kind of kick while they're down. Uh, Poland is a really, really good target. Poland might actually go orthodox. Denmark is fabricating claim on Danzig. Fine by me. Oh, we have so many free diplomats. We must improve relations. Let's improve relations over here for a bit. And with um, the Ottomans, actually. The Ottomans don't hate us. There's just different religions, so we might actually... Be able to get an alliance with them? Yeah, we might. We might just be able to get an alliance with them. Uh, which is bizarre, but I've had an alliance with the Ottomans before. As, well, not as um, Pomerania, but as France. Just a nice big ally to kick Austria's ass. Of course, Austria is always nice to kick on because they're usually the emperor and uh, like to pretend they're almighty. They're not almighty. Brandenburg, stop trying to go after my cardinal. They're going to continue being emperor. Well, Brandenburg also has a few votes. They called in the Rex Regiment already? Oh yeah, they did a few episodes back. Not the good. Poland now knows that we are fabricating a claim and our army reformer died. That is not good. We're going to go with morale of armies plus 10%. We could always do with more army morale. I mean, we are... Oh, Poland is now orthodox. They also changed the king to Jan the Zebridowski. Nah. I'm king of Poland now. I'm not that Sevridovsky is not my last name. Uh, they are now a feudal monarchy. And they are orthodox, which... Uh, this one. Actually, most of them are orthodox. So we're just going to um, take away their Christian provinces. That's what we're going to do. We're going to liberate our fellow Catholics. Right, we can go into producing our culverins now. Ten of them, if I'm not mistaken. Let's finish the armories first. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. I think we built another one in our Varmia. Nine, ten. Poland, no, Bohemia, act of uniformity. Which is fine. Who has disputed the secessions? Palatinate mines in Poland? Poland has a dispute of secession. They have no allies at the moment. Is our diplomat done? Yeah, he is. We have claims on everything. Right. This is a resoundingly called to war. To take war. war so who will join us? Brandenburg. And we're at war again. Uh, Bohemia is now what religion? 
Bohemia is now Protestant. No, 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 no. Of course, Lithuania is obliged to join. They are in a personal union with us. There we go. We lost the cannon. Damn you, Poles! I think I need to fix that. Uh, ah, damn it, invested in the wrong cardinal. We've won the Battle of Kalitz, now we're moving to Warsaw. Uh, Lithuania should be going in after them pretty soon as well, so I think we'll be doing okay in a minute. Quickly do that and uh, show me the army. 8,000, and there's 2,000 here. How many? We have 9,000 cannons. We're gonna build another cannon unit. No, wait. Do we need to? No, we have 9,000. What am I doing? What is this stupidity I'm doing today? Our mission could be to take Vishna? Sure, why not? We'll take that as well. We have claims on all three provinces up here, so. Uh, I think that's it for the Polish army. Yeah, they have barely any army now. So, we're going to detach a siege, quickly move it in there, detach a siege, move it in there, and just start sieging. And then this time around, because it is just Poland against us, uh, we will actually just go and siege everything and detach have them release some stuff, probably Ukraine, or Moldavia for that matter. Actually, Moldavia exists in Multania at the moment, so could just have them return a few cores. Right while we're sieging, actually a bit low on money, we're losing money, which is a surprise to me. We're not going to build anything, we have too many relations, which uh, I forgot about that. I'm kind of excited that Brandenburg decided to join us in our war. I find that rather exciting, don't you? <laughs> Who's attached here? Lithuania. Well, then move into Krakow. There's a very, very small force left. So, I should be fine sieging everything, but actually by the end of this episode. Probably end this war by the end of this episode as well. We won't be able to vassalize them, which I'm okay with. And because it's outside, the Emperor won't mind. Oh, there we go. We've taken Warsaw. Moving into belts now. Uh, let's see. We can either take economic idea and inflation reduction minus 10%. No, interest per annum minus 1. Or we could wait for the scythe. I think we'll wait for the scythe actually this time around. I know, it's... it's... I have issues deciding what we're gonna do. Where and when. It's, um... Sometimes I just can't... My brain no work! I like how Poland is circum circumnavigating us. Hopefully Lithuania does something about it. Well, it doesn't really matter, they don't have... We've taken Lublin already. Well, then move into Ruthenia, should be fine. We've taken Lichna as well. Move into Podolia. Actually, no. Move into Warsaw. Kill... Kick them! Kick them! Ugh, damn you. We're gonna just run around like morons now. Oh no, we won't. into Podolia. We've taken the Wargol now, but I do want them to spit out someone this time round. We didn't do that last time and I've been kind of annoyed by it. Scandal at the court. Sometimes the scandal would erupt in the royal court and would upset a monarch to the point where most diplomatic activity would come to a standstill thing until things quiet, quiet, quieted down a bit. We can take the blame or bribe an advisor. We will bribe an advisor. Take out loan, but bribe an advisor. Take in builds as well. Moving into Bessarabia now. Take 
taken Sadomierz as well. Let's them into Ruthenia. We've taken a loan of 55. That's fine. We are making a profit currently. Actually, move into Podolia. Improve the relations with the Ottomans to 100. They wouldn't fall on the lines with us. Not just yet. No, I think they have an issue with it. we're so close to them. We've taken Krakow as well. Combine our units here. Our diplomat left home from the Ottomans. We are not going to take Scythe. I just remembered why we shouldn't. Because we will have to court stuff. And to improve relations with Saxony as well while we're at it. And we need a diplomat. So. Yeah. We only have two cardinals left. We're gonna not gonna be the controller of the Curia for much longer. Oh, we're losing! Go, go, go out! Get out, get out, get out! That's because the attached army didn't move with us. Inflation on the rise? Yeah, only one inflation. Inflation can is okay. We can. It goes down for us anyways, and we can manually reduce it if needed. We've taken Ruthenia. We're doing really, really okay in this war, actually. We, stri <laughs> we strike, we strike, yeah, we strike the just the right time. If we waited a bit longer, they might have regained one of their alliances, and that could have been bad for us. Relations with Austria is up to a hundred. Who else do we want to impress at the moment? No one really. Well, let's go improve relations with the. Uh, Swedes a little bit again. Don't mind having good relations with the Swedes. And then with Aragon. Aragon actually likes us quite a bit. So we're going to improve relations with them as well. I think it, it's gonna be that time when we're gonna have to start looking west for expansion and I know it's within the HRE and everyone will hate us but It's just one of those things that will have to be done. Eventually, I mean... We could wait... Uh, till we... Integrate... Uh, till we integrate Lithuania and then move east. But it, it's not necessarily... Muscovy is not necessarily going to be weak enough for Crimea. For that matter, Crimea is probably allied with the Ottomans. Of course they are. Those are going to be hard to get by. It's just one of those things. We've taken Podolia now, so I'm gonna move those men into Bessarabia. Quickly take that. Active uniformity in Lithuania. Lithuania loves us. Then can we start integrating them at 1550? And we've taken Moldavia now, so move these troops down there as well. No, Poland. I will. I will dictate the. Peace offer. Who's in it here with us? Brandenburg. That is that is a successful war, I think. It was slightly backstabby. They had no allies, they had very little troops, but I don't I mean the AI has done it to me a million times, so why not us do it to the AI a bit? And as soon as Bessarabia falls, we'll... I think I might actually take all three of these. They are Polish, they're Catholic. Improved relations with Sweden went up to 100. Uh, we already have improved relations with you. Then improved relations with Spain. We've taken Ruthenia now. Uh, that means that we can... Oh, what? They've taken Ruthenia. Oh. I was like, we've taken Ruthenia. Then I realized we weren't taking Ruthenia at all. The garrison here should be rather small. Yeah, we'll just assault it. There's no chance they could uh, hold out. 
There we go. We're at 100% war score. I'm gonna take our army, which was slightly damaged. Move them into Hinter Pomeran. And start dictating a piece. Let's see, if we take Wisna, Warsaw, and that, we get... <sighs> Bohemia would hate us a bit. 35. It's not that bad, though. Have them return Moldavia to Moldavia and grab all their money, which isn't a lot of money. And we can still probably get them to do something. We take the Sarabia to Moldavia and we can use that war score up completely. Well, almost completely. Who would hate us? Poland would hate us naturally. <laughs> We're taking Poland from them. Bohemia would hate us a bit. Uh, so would Riga, the Livonians, they're one and two provinces. Munster, too far away. Hansa, uh, kind of close. Bit worrisome. Turungia. Don't care. Denmark. Don't care. Lithuania. PU. Austria. Ally. Minus 9. Not a problem. Hess. Minus 7. Minus 7. Minus 4. Even. I, I realize that a bit. Hmm. Not sure about this, but we will take these provinces. We don't have a Casas Valley against them anymore. Uh, let's see. Do we have an integrate something? Then we will. See? Warsaw is expensive. Two. 54. We'll court all of them. Why is that still going up? But it's fine. I mean, we're all Catholic now. We... Polish is an accepted culture. Warsaw is a 7 province. These are 3 and 2, which is a bit low, but... That's fine. I mean, we still expanded our empire by 3 provinces in a rather short amount of time. They're actually now a quite a big nation. Uh, we won't be able to actually integrate Lithuania yet, I think, because they have too many provinces, and that can't, counts against you in integration, in the integration process. So. But that's it for this episode. We went to war again with Poland. <laughs> Poor Poland. I do feel sorry for them a little bit. I mean, look at them. They used to be a mighty empire spanning from, from Posen down to Bessarabia. Now they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 province nation. Aww. We're gonna take the rest of them though. We will. And then I think we might move into uh, Hungary a bit. Anywho, that's it for this episode. If you, if you have a suggestion on what we should do next, put it in the comment section below. If you like this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, bye bye